going to be on. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. I'm today at American Title in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I'm talking to Debbie Ellison. Debbie is um, my title representative. I've worked with American for, I'd say, the majority of the years that I've been in real estate. And we were chatting today about a couple things with title insurance, and I just kind of wanted to get something out there to the consumers about things that Debbie might be seeing. So the first thing we talked about was short sales. and um, tell us what you're seeing going on with title insurance and how it relates to short sales. Um, well, from the standpoint that it's a, it, it can be a bad thing, uh, we still have some fraud going on out there. Um, primarily what you see is a transaction where you have someone interested in buying your property. You submit a proposed transaction to your lender to get them to come down on your balance, in other words, to, get, to, to short your payoff. To your lender, uh, the lender agrees to a short payoff. You know, can be several, can be twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. They're going to take a loss. Um, in the meantime, this person who's going to buy it has sold it to someone else for more. So they are actually going to make up the difference uh, in a profit for themselves. So that's a, still a fraudulent transaction. It's called a flip, but this is sort of a new take on it. This idea that you can defraud the the underlying lender. So how are you ca catching those when, when a short sale, someone orders title work from you guys and you and Greg think it might be fraudulent, what's the red flag that you Pretty look much the, for? the most important thing to look at is when, when does the next closing take place? In other words, we won't close a transaction if it's, uh, you know, contingent on another transaction, if it closes the same day, that's a pretty big red flag to us that there's something going on here that's not quite right. Okay, good. I know one time I was here and um, years ago and we were getting ready to sign the documents and Greg picked up on the fact that the signature that the seller had pre-signed was not his real signature. And myself and another agent um, had to get in our car because oh, I, I was a that. notary yes. and go downtown Detroit yes. Yes. with bars on the windows <laughs> and get this guy um, to sign it. And it was really, really scary, but yet at the same time I appreciated the fact that you realized yeah, it's yes. better to get the right signature. Something was wrong there, yeah. Exactly. Um, and it is a hard thing to catch, although um, our underwriters have gotten more and more stringent with us on making sure that we're doing the notarizing for our own closing. See, 20 years ago, we never worried about that. Mm -hmm. We figured if, if a notary was duly filed with the court, was a notary, then we didn't need to worry that there was you know, any problem with the signatures. Well, mm -hmm. that's definitely not the case anymore. Wow. So the other thing that I was curious about is, um, you know, around Ann Arbor, there's a lot of the big companies that have their own in-house title companies, their own in-house lenders, and you, American has never been involved in that. And, um, you know, I just wondered your thoughts on that and how you feel, you know, how, how, what, why have you and Greg never gotten involved in that, and what do you see the red flags are when that happens? Well, I, I don't think that either the real estate agent or the consumer gets real good service. Um, I'm proud of the fact that we still have to compete every day to get your business.